Are you looking for a solid tripod that can be your go-to and comes in at under $100? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be doing a review of the MacTrim BT80 coming up. So let's take a look and see what we got here. So right off the bat, when you open this up, you know, you see that it comes with a carrying bag. And that's one of the reasons I ended up choosing this tripod. It, uh, you know, it's a really nice feature to have to be able to carry your tripod around with you. Um, it also comes with this little tool bag. It's got a few Allen wrenches in it, nothing special. Um, and then, you know, you have the tripod itself. The thing that I really liked about this is it actually comes with a phone mount. Um, you know, as you can see here, which is really something that I wanted to have additional, you know, to, to be able to film things with my phone. Now going down the tripod list of must-haves, I mean, I think this one really, you know, hit a home run on it. I, I think it hit everything that it needed to, um, everything that I like in a tripod. So let's jump right into this review. So this one's actually relatively compact. It's coming in at around, I think it was 17 inches and um, roughly about three pounds, which is really pretty good. I mean, my other tripod is, I wanna say it's around five or six pounds, which is actually double the weight of this one. So I mean, to be able to cut that in half, you know, when you're traveling or you're hiking or, you know, wherever you're going to take pictures, it, you know, that weight adds up. This tripod can be extended to 62 and a half inches when fully extended. Um, as well, the center column can be inverted, you know, for taking macro photography or, you know, just getting a different perspective, different angles, you know, that you want to shoot. And finally, a tripod manufacturer has the quick release leg locks and does it right. These, in my opinion, are the best way to know that your tripod legs are securely locked you know, I can't even tell you the amount of times that a tripod leg has slipped out of position when using twist locks. You go and twist the leg to a lock position and you think it's all good until the weight of the camera makes a slip and you run the risk of it toppling over. So I'm really happy about the leg locks that are used for this tripod. Now the detachable center column can be used for multiple purposes, but the primary one is to use it as a monopod for your camera or even your cell phone since they included the attachable phone mount. Now let's jump up to the ball head. It's Arca Swiss compatible, which is a must for most photographers. And I always recommend getting an L bracket for your DSLR or mirrorless, just to make life a little easier. Now, if you don't have an L bracket, don't worry, this ball head can support up to 33 pounds. It has two tension knobs to the ball head, which is really important. Before getting an L bracket, I mean, I would run the risk of having the heavy camera slowly sliding out of position because it only had one tension contact point. Well, with this one, you have two contact points, which makes the ball head much sturdier and less likely to slip out of place. Now the MacTrim has a bubble leveler and 360 degree markings for shooting accurate panoramas. So this thing pretty much does it all. So what's the price? So you can find the MacTrim BT80 on Amazon for right around $75, I think is what I picked it up for, $75.99 I think it was. And um, you know, sometimes you can even catch Amazon when they're running like a five or $10 coupon on it which makes this basically, I mean, basically a steal, considering that, you know, some of the, you know, bigger name brand manufacturers are charging double, triple, even quadruple the price of this. And I mean, it comes with pretty much the same bells and whistles. This also comes with a one year money back guarantee and a three year warranty. So, I mean, it sounds like they definitely stand behind their product and it's something to definitely check out if, you know, you're in the market for a new tripod. And question of the day, what tripod are you currently using to take your photos and videos. And do you have a recommendation under $100? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one.